right over here is your <laughs> orbiting station. This is where you'd be to fly the space shuttle when it comes to docking with the International Space Station or rendezvousing with a satellite. Outside, you have a wide view of the whole cargo bay area. You can see the whole length and width of it. Right in front of you, uh, that white object with the goat on it is an upper stage booster rocket, which is meant to push satellites mm. further out in outer space using the space shuttle or uh, the uh, or a multi-stage rocket uh, as a launching platform. If you look out and down, that circular object with the three metal prongs is That's a, a uh, is a uh, is the docking collar to the International Space Station. And uh, basically, it's any kind of space. Sorry, where is that? Again? Uh, out in that circular object. Right. With look the, out oh, and down. Oh, it's here, yeah. right. That's the docking collar. And then that long cylindrical object that extends the length of the cargo bay off to your right, that is the uh, arm of the spaceship. That is the Sorry, wait, wait, it's Canada, Canada. That's the Canadian arm. It's that long cylindrical object that extends the length of the cargo bay off to your right. You see oh, that you cylinder object, that, that tube that just runs. Oh, just, just yeah. here? Yeah. You don't want to give them credit, so they just whitewash the Canada. Well, no, we still had to give them credit. So <laughs> they they left their name. They right left it here. right here. They I left see. it right here. Yeah, so it's off the arm. But it's, sorry, what do you mean, there. give them credit? Well, well on, they if made it. They have this giant Canada on the uh, side of the arm. It's like uh, you know, yeah. uh, they're, they're prideful advertisement of it. It's their recognition that they. <laughs> the and you can it. always see it in every shot yeah. out of the payload bay, but I can't see it here. But it bends, right? It's that that. Robotic arm. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can see the articulating joint right there in the middle, and then at the end, there's the there's sort of the hand piece. But where does where does, it, where does for example, if it's holding a satellite, mm -hmm. where's the gripping? Yeah, part? Uh, it's usually an attachment that's added onto the arm later on, or it's like it connects to it connects to it at the other end of the arm. But there's no attachment to it right now. Okay, there goes my camera. Damn it! <laughs> no power. Yep. Yeah. Well, so, uh, this is your time to ask any great. additional questions or anything else while we... Uh, well, we've certainly asked you a lot, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and so very so informative. These are viewing, viewing holes. Uh, no, I mean, they're, they're more for navigation, especially this one right here. This is where the uh, uh, pilot or commander would be to fly the space shuttle to get closer up to the object. You would actually have a heads-up display, uh, 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 display right here so that the commander and pilot can look up that way. Like, this is a heads-up display. Right. And just picture it attached to here. Ah, okay. So it would be helping them judge distance uh, and speed and a few other things. So... Right, okay. Seems like they could have saved a lot of weight if they made these panels out of something else other than metal, right? Well, yes. <laughs> and uh, the switches, it seems like everything is just... Mechanical. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, this is... The navigation stick. So this is where you'd be to control the space shuttle when it comes to docking. You nose down, nose up, row left, row right. For, the, for the entire... For the entire space shuttle. Right. And then you have your navigational stick right over there. Uh, with, translational device, which helps the space shuttle move forward, back, up and down, side to side, uh, using strategically placed thrusters at the front and back yeah, of the space shuttle. Is, right. You have the same set of controls right over here, but they use this area for docking more than they do over here. It, because it, the way I've been told is, if you crash into something, best to have it crash over here above the space shuttle than crash at the front, because that's where the heat, heat uh, tiles are mostly, or not all of it, but mm. where they meet. And if you crash, you need that front section to go into this, go into the atmosphere. But if you crash on something mm -hmm. above the space shuttle, it's not really all that bad because mm -hmm. you still have the bottom half that will get you into the atmosphere, and then you can just bail out afterwards. So I'm a diabetic. My sugar levels are low. That's all. Oh, okay. He's telling me that. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. And down here. Uh, I didn't read most of those, but they sound like audio frequencies for most of the uh, communication systems. <sighs> Just the screws alone must weigh as much of, as of a passenger. Well, I know they did. I, I know when they retired the space shuttle, they did weigh most of the uh, paperwork on board the space shuttle. <laughs> oh man, no! It came out to a few hundred pounds. <laughs> no. So they did decide after that point, instead of having um, uh, paperwork on board the space shuttle or uh, the new spacecraft, which is the Orion. Uh, they decided to have uh, tablets. Instead. Yeah, a couple of iPads or something. So I don't get that. You said the screws would weigh well, as I much mean, as. Just look at every screw in every panel. Well, if, right? I mean, and if you even just if you just unscrewed them all, them them all <laughs> right? And then weighed them. It's oh, got to be a couple oh, hundred pounds of just yeah. screws on the yeah. space shuttle. Yeah, it seems like there must be a better way than all these screws. 
but no. No. Um, you would want them to be detachable and easy to get to. Um, if you ever see any of these red dots like this one right over here, yeah. these are fire extinguisher ports, so you'd stick the fire hose into oh. that and spray into it. Huh. Getting the fire behind the behind the panel. Crazy. Well, I'm gonna show you guys on how to get down. The easiest way to get down is <laughs> in space probably. <laughs> you guys are going to sit down on the floor of the flight deck like so. Hang your legs over the side. Mm -hmm. Grab three points of contact. Your first one's here. Your second one is right here. Your third is your right leg, either on the first or second rung of the ladder. So just get yourself up, mm -hmm. swing your leg, and then walk yourself on down. If you have any problems, do feel free to ask, and but, I'll help you out as best I can. But they, these these rails here, they they were in the shuttle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they were they were merely guidance because of zero gravity. They just they all they would need is to hold up, hold it. But then. Well, Unless you're the pilot and you have to do the bailout scenario going out the hatch, then yeah. how are you going to go down that thing with your flight suit on and your, your, oh you my. Practice for it, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's why he's the that's pilot. How, that's how they do it. Commanders. They probably have, they probably, the pilot would probably program the computer to fly the rest of the way. Yeah. All the way down, which they can do. And then he would just let the computer figure it out from there. And, then and, and while it. you're in turbulence and everything, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah I couldn't have done this. It's very hard to orient yourself <laughs> when, when there is gravity. Right, yes, when because there, yeah. it's they've obviously built the thing so that so, there's no up or down, so like sir, there's sir, buttons sir, everywhere. Sit down on the... to, to your right, I think yes, you want to so sit, yeah. There you go. Like that? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Your legs facing this way. Legs so facing. Face yeah, like face so face forward. Oh. Face no. forward, like flight forward. Yeah. Face like face this way. forward. Like here. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. toward the nose cone. Oh, and okay. Then, and then legs here. Yeah. And then legs here. Okay, here. right. I see. Sorry. I'll oh, handle that. But what I'm saying is, in zero g, you could you could. Yeah, just float. Yeah. You could. Yeah. yeah. And they had both. Um, it looks like there's two ways to go get in and out of the of the flight deck, so uh, that both were open. That is not another exit or entry point. That's just uh, the air circulate from one side to another. Oh. So that, as you said, that goes up to the ISS. Yeah, that's a docking hub. We're not allowed to actually stand on this, are we? You're, you're not allowed to go into that area. <laughs> right. Okay. And that's for what reason? Because uh, it's too much of a tripping hazard and it's not that big inside. Okay, it looks quite big. Uh, it's really not. <laughs> Have you, you've been in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hang on. But say you're up in, in space. Mm -hmm. You've you've gone into orbit. Yeah. So you go through there. Mm -hmm. And then you go up. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You saw that docking collar? That collar right above outside. Yeah. That's where the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the top. Okay. Right. Yes. Uh, into the ice. Yes. Yeah. And that door into the, the bay would be closed. Yes. And so that you wouldn't have to wear a spacesuit mm -hmm. when you go up into the ISS. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Are we allowed to stand there or no? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not allowed to touch this wall, right? You can touch, you can touch the bar if you want. <laughs> bar just there, okay. That looks like an authentic uh, NASA handrail yep. bar too. That's not really and what that is that one? Why? Yeah, I mean that's not like something aluminium. they added. That looks like a real aluminium to keep it light, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Although, yeah, for 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 launching purposes, yeah. Because mm -hmm. okay. uh, like something you'd see on Hubble or something. There was a famous handrail they broke off of Hubble to get yeah, to some instrument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, this looks like a, a a original feature on on the shuttle too. This thing oh. on the bottom is that like an air intake or something? Yeah. You know what that is? Air intake. So is that one right over there as well? Oh yeah, there's another one. That's it. Great stuff. Oh, so you'd, you'd have to finish, you'd already have your spacesuit on when you got into the first part, right? So you wouldn't have to put anything on at this point. Yeah, you would have to have the spacesuit on yeah. in order to go out in outer space. That's just barely enough room mm -hmm. with all that stuff on it. So this is the, the, the proportion, I mean the the size here is, is, is the actual size, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and one of the reasons you'd have this is in case there was a problem when you had, or after you had launched, um, the, the, the guys on the ground on Earth could, could they could say, they could, like if there was a, a problem. Oh, you mean if this, 
yeah, if there was a problem with this switch, they could just get the, the guys on the ground here yeah. could come over here and they could say, right, cryo, uh, tank, sensor, one, whatever. Yeah. And they could just, uh, they could sit, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. that's, it's all the right size and yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, although, I don't know if they would come in here to actually do, like, test um, anything that would be broken on the inside. They'd probably just grab the panel itself from some storage area on the Right. Try to recreate so, so what's the purpose of having this entire mock-up show? It's basically for NASA to acclimate the astronauts to the environment that they're going to be in when they're out in outer space. So they basically right. bring them in here. You don't need literal PSI acclimatized. No, no, no. no. no they, just, just, yes. they just bring them in here just like, this is what it's going to be like. Right. And we want you to understand how, how what the size is going to be, how you what you're going to do, where your bench is. Yeah, how to move I, I, around. I yeah. Yeah, or 14 days yeah. is the max. Uh, 14 bay days, is I think, is the minimal. Um, but yeah, you would have your beds here. This is what this does over here. This actually still functionally works. Uh, you would have the, they would also use this as a layout um, planner so that you're like, okay, so we're going to put this in here. We're going to put this down here. Is this how we're going to set this up when we put it in the real space shuttle? Yes. Are we gonna, we're going to test the uh, stuff in the cargo bay. Is this how we really want to set it up in the cargo bay before we put it in the real space shuttle? Yes. How are we going to do this? Let's see how it works. Is there something you need to build to make this more uh, more custom? No, nope. right. Was this ever a test vehicle uh, for flight testing of any kind? No, no, no. It's made of wood. It wouldn't last yeah. for anything like that. They, that's what the Enterprise is for. Yeah, yeah. So Sorry, it, it wasn't Enterprise converted. Was, you mean you mean you're not talking the actual one of the five shuttles or whatever? Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Sorry. The right. The Enterprise was purely for. Um, just test flight. Yeah, oh, the, test the drop tests, but they didn't. They didn't convert right. it. So they did test flights and stuff in that. Yeah, but I know some of the test, the test flight ones could have been converted. Like Challenger was, uh, maybe it was Endeavor, I believe, that was converted from one of the test flight. Uh, I I don't really know about. I think sorry, yeah. so Enterprise did not was not launched. No, or it, correct. No, it, it was, was it was it was it was the one you would see on top of the seven four seven. Right. It was flown and then detached and then. It was flown down. Oh, but it did not go up on. No, no, there were no uh, no, it, no, no launches, external right. tanks. No, no launches. Tanks. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. It was no. just meant to glide itself yeah. down. Right. They wanted to test like control surfaces. But, but with astronauts in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. But but again, not 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 launched. Right. Yeah. Right. No. right. Okay. So this is like a uh, a test vehicle cl one class down from that because yeah. it it can't glide. It's it can't. It's a more yeah. easier test. Yeah. Like it's a uh, escape procedure. Right. And, and, and layout procedures and design t procedures. It's basically like a, a rehearsal stage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, I guess my, sorry, a question for me is, mm -hmm. um, sorry, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> is this is vertical, like the, the nose would be up. Yeah. And that door would be when, after they take the lift up, they'd, they'd, they'd come in. Oh, yeah, good question. That door, yeah. Yeah, they'd come in, so it would be vertical. Mm -hmm. And where is the nose? The nose was over there. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, sorry, that's right. And then the two part, the pilots would be, Sitting there, yeah. and they'd be pointing towards the sky when yeah. they're on the ground, mm -hmm. uh, on the uh, what do you call the um, the launch pad? Yeah, the launch yeah. Pad. <laughs> okay, right, okay. So, and that that door is, yeah, that's that's looking out. Mm -hmm. I mean, on, on the earth, on, on the ground, mm -hmm. they would be, they come through there. Then I'm just trying to think where this, how this would be positioned. Yeah, you'd have to step on the door of the bathroom, right? Yeah, and you just walk. It would actually be easier just, than well, how we I did just it. Walk yeah, that's right. You, you just crawl in. Right, you, you crawl and this, up. And this is actually a chair. A chair, okay. Oh, yeah, because... So you just put your... You just yeah, sit here. You would just, yeah. And the chairs would be stationed right here. And these these little loops right here, you see right here that you're stepping on? Right. Are actually for a bungee. For a bungee oh, otherwise you would for fall. For a trampoline. Yeah. So you can just, like, as soon as you are... When they are ready for you to get into your chair, you get off the chair, jump on the trampoline, and jump into the chair. Yeah, because otherwise, oh, if you, could, you would just fall yeah, right fall into right this. Into that. yeah, that, that's down. The ground is that <laughs> right. way. Right. Yeah, of course. This is the most dangerous part of getting into the space shuttle, actually. On Earth. Yeah. On Earth. But once you're, right, in, right. once you're in zero G, uh, and you came downstairs from the, from the pilot This area. thing actually could mimic the upright position, and they actually have one oh, they can, that, they can that's built up. straight up. This could do that. If oh. you go outside, you notice it's on the spot. Yeah, I, I, I can rotate up. I saw that. But they tried it a couple times, but the astronauts didn't like it because it was a really unfeel it was a really unsettling feeling just going like this. When you're on the when you're on Earth. Yeah, when you're on Earth. Right. So they and then NASA was also afraid it would break and right. then it would just be like this. Yeah. So they just left it like this and then built a brand new one that was 
Yeah. Huh. Straight up. Rotten earth, eh? Wow. I mean, these guys are yeah, yeah. supposed to be up there. Yeah, yeah. Space, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how to get on help. Okay. The easiest way to get on help okay. is you guys are going to do one of several things. You can crawl on your hands and knees and get back out. You can uh, go back out the same way you can, or you can do the NASA approved way, which is grab onto the bars up here, put your feet right here, and then swing yourself right on out. Okay. Now, if you're going to do the last part, there are steep drops on each end. So yeah. if there's anything valuable in your pocket, it falls sure out. It may be gone. Uh, and the <laughs> catch itself is not padded, so if you swing yourself out too hard and hurt yourself, um, don't do that. Okay. okay. All right. So they'd have to move this whole slide setup if they were going to go in vertically, right? Yeah. Excellent. Wow. Thank you. That's how I can go a swing from here, right? Yep. Here's some more. These are the scratch marks from the the G. Yeah. These are from. Uh, they're going on the other side. It's more yeah. prominent on the other side. Yeah, I noticed that, yeah. Scratch box, what? Sorry, from what? From the Sky Genie Escape System. Remember I was explaining yeah. how they got out for a case of emergency? Oh, yeah. The and then All these scratches are from them. Are these um, from the the hatch escape? But uh, you said that was yeah, done out of a that was the, helicopter they, they or something. Still, they can still practice this portion yeah. here on Earth to get out. Um, the parachute one is the one they would probably do in an airplane. Yeah. Or a jet that was built wow. for that specific. Very cool. The, uh, the, uh, at the back end, the, uh, the nozzle, the... The thruster systems were not existing. They, 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 they didn't need to put anything back there. They, they only needed to be real up in the front section. Now, on, on this, on this mock-up, uh, they don't have those, not those, those thrusters on, do they? Uh, they have the the powerful, the more powerful ones set up, but they're not really I just put these back here? All right. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to check out the payload bay. Okay, so this, yeah, in real life, obviously, this would be a launch pad, and that would be a to bring the from the Very cool. Now I'm going to go check out the payload bay. <laughs> Mm. You'll notice it has the padding on the seat, whereas the ones on the plane. Oh, there's no padding. Yeah, oh, you only you don't need padding. padding for more than a few minutes, right? Now you can clearly see the external airlock. Oh, this is cool. Where's the maple leaf? <laughs> it's true. 
Okay, that was the space shuttle.